Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the big three coins. We're talking Bitcoin, we're talking Ethereum, we're talking Solana. Okay, if you want more coins, let me know in the comments. I will do them this week. But uh, yes, if we are just going to get straight into this, not waste your time here. All right, let's just talk Bitcoin to begin with, right? We are tapping, we are knocking on the door at 90k, okay? But you're probably wondering, where should you get in? Okay, if you didn't get in when I said to yesterday, right, uh, then, uh, I mean, that's on you. That is on you. But <laughs> what we will say is that, yeah, we haven't had this pullback yet. So if you are still waiting for that dip, uh, there is still going to be an opportunity here very, very soon. And the reason why I say very, very soon is because of a few things here we're going to talk about today. Okay, so starting with Bitcoin, keeping this simple, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this would be the eighth green candle in a row for Bitcoin, okay? If we're looking back in the history books, okay, for Bitcoin, we can see uh, rarely we do actually have more than, I would say, nine green candles in a row. And when we do, we usually get pretty substantial pullbacks after that, okay? So what we're going to be expecting here very, very soon is a pretty beefy dump arena. And that dump uh, could be anywhere between five and 15%. It's really up for debate here uh, because we haven't actually retested this bull market barrier yet okay so uh, within range here is actually 78k and we could also make the argument that we do have this cme gap here down at uh let's just see let's just see yeah 78.9 here right so uh, that is going to be a key area to watch if we do start pummeling it into the abyss okay but uh yes you're probably waiting for that area to buy more than anything so let's talk about that um in order to get that area to buy we actually need to actually find an area where we top, okay? And the area I'm expecting to top here before a pullback is this yellow line here. If you don't know what this yellow line is, guys, it's essentially the linear regressional growth curve middle line. Okay, so if we are just gonna get rid of everything except this here, including hash ribbons, which is also performing fantastically right now, uh, we can see here that this is pretty much every cycle for Bitcoin on the chart uh, in a range. And that range will slowly curve up logarithmically over time. Uh, and you can see here that, uh, yeah, it plots this range in very, very nicely. So the predicted range coming through here for uh, the future is obviously up in the 300,000s. But this middle line, if we just look at this and focus on this on the weekly, we can see we do like to actually have a little pit stop here in our runs, whether it's up or down here. We love this little pit stop uh, where we can actually uh, oscillate and uh, essentially just go sideways around this area before continuing the parabolic curve. Okay, so uh, that's essentially what we're looking at right now. I would expect if we do hit this area, then uh, yes, we do go sideways for quite some time here. Um, or uh, more likely here because of this pump up, we do actually get a bit of a dump down first, right? So uh, that line is currently sat around $83,000. I just realized I've got my uh, eye contact on <laughs> with the AI. So let's get rid of that. There we go. We've got my normal eyes back. Uh, but we can see here that, yeah, that's currently around $93,000. That's going to be a key area to watch. If you've got value from this video already, please drop a like on it. It does help me out a lot. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is really what I'm looking for for the top to come in. In terms of areas to buy, it is a tricky one because we don't actually have any uh, structure made up here uh, for a very long time. Like a 15% pump here, guys. Oh, sorry, a 30% pump here uh, is actually insane over a few days where we don't actually have any structure here on the daily okay so um this dump could be very very aggressive this dump could be a pretty disgusting one down to 70k so let's just be aware of that uh, besides that we want to be looking at moving averages here uh, and uh, actually with this i want to reset this to defaults there we go beautiful stuff and get our normal moving averages up here we can see here on the daily we are above all major moving averages uh, and if we are looking for the absolute area to buy if we are super aggressive and we're just going to blast through this right if you're an aggressive trader then an area to buy would be on this uh 10 sma here okay so if we do pull back and we want to make some kind of structure coming through okay then this 10 sma on the daily is going to be a key area to watch okay we don't always just tap it and bang it up here but it is a key zone to be watching as you can see here on this trend up, uh, it is the key area uh, that was kind of like the pit stop point, okay? So in terms of areas to buy, it'd be there, but the absolute area to buy, if you are a bit more cautious, 
would be around this price action channel. So that's roughly between the 21 EMA and the 55 EMA. These are actually super easy to get on your chart, okay? You just add this in the indicator section, okay? Type in the various moving averages, they will appear and you add them to your chart, very, very easy. I've got them all in my all-in-one indicator here, but um, yeah, you can get them for free very, very easily, all right? Uh, that's Bitcoin. That is Bitcoin out the way here, okay? We did do another analysis yesterday on Bitcoin uh, with some targets and trades, but uh, yeah, in terms of a brief summary here for you guys, Bitcoin, we're looking for a top around 93K, okay? Uh, and then a dump down. If we blast through 93K, it will be a support, and I would still expect uh, the dump to come through. So if we blast up to 100K, and then we bang it down to 93K, I will be looking to buy at that zone, all right? Uh, just based on the oscillation we get around this normally. In the runs, right? So that's Bitcoin out of the way. Let's move over to Ethereum. I know this looks super messy. Uh, let's actually just clean this up super quickly here. Uh, liquidation levels buy, okay? Uh, if we are going to look at the daily here, we can see, yes, uh, we are just printing green candles. It's pretty disgusting here. Uh, one thing about Ethereum, it hasn't actually got anywhere near the all-time highs here, right? Uh, this is something that's quite worrying, I would say, more than anything, uh, but uh, it's not the end of the world here. We can still recover and break the all-time highs and blast off uh, with Bitcoin, but it, it does seem to be going a little bit slower. That could be because this cycle, we're on a proof of stake and not a proof of work, okay, therefore there's less fees and less volume going into the Ethereum blockchain, therefore, uh, yes, it is, it is not, it's not va as valuable, okay, there's not much, there's not as much money moving through it, okay, uh, so yes, that could be one factor, another factor is there's just Solana now, and Solana's just massive, okay, so it could be taking some of that market share away from people, but if we are just looking at targets, areas to buy, okay, areas in which we'll be looking to buy the dip on, um, let's just get rid of this real quick and move it to moving averages, we can see here, if it does want to pull back, this is going to be a key area to watch, 2008 867 here. I know that's super far away, but uh, if we do get one of these major crashes and we do hit this very important level here with Bitcoin, then Ethereum will come down as well. And it's really looking at this price action channel, looking at the 55, looking at the 21, okay, and then just finding that middle area in which uh, we usually will bounce along, okay? So, um, obviously, I'm not including black swans and stuff like this in this, right? Obviously, if, if they do uh, kind of can Trump, right? Let's just put it bluntly. They do can Trump, then uh, yes, it's going to be a swan event and everything dumping to zero probably, right? But uh, what we will say here in terms of targets, in terms of TA, in terms of data, we are looking at, uh, yes, roughly around 2,800, okay? For a pullback, for a buy here, and then looking for uh, essentially a lot of profit from this point. I'm really only saying this for you guys because I'm actually already in, I'm chilling right now, okay? But uh, just for you guys, if you are looking to buy, if you haven't got in yet, okay? I think getting in here is pretty risky, obviously, with so many green candles, with Ethereum, with Bitcoin, with Solana, okay? Uh, so looking for that pullback is absolutely fine. If it is super aggressive, then uh, the 10 SMA, or is this a 7 SMA? I think this is the 7. Yeah, so we're going to use the 7 actually on on, uh, on altcoins. It does make a lot more sense. But uh, yeah, looking around $3,000 uh, for a retest uh, and a buy on the daily there for Ethereum. Okay, if we're looking over at Solana here as well, again, another just barrage of green candles coming through here. Uh, if we're looking for a pullback on this, then uh, yes, I mean, we've got very, very nice horizontal levels here coming through okay and i just realized that this is the market cap it's not the actual coin so let's just get the actual coin up here boom okay this video is going swimmingly <laughs> <laughs> and we can see here, yes, we are not over the all-time high, but uh, we are getting close to that. So I would expect some resistance around that area as well. Uh, in terms of buying the dip here on Solana, the levels you want to look out for here uh, are around $180 to $190. Okay, maybe even $200 if it does want to pull back and get aggressive here. But uh, overall, it is looking bullish across the board, okay? Everything right now is looking super bullish. I don't want you get, when you're getting too bearish, but getting in here is, is incredibly risky, I would say. Okay, we might have another wave up here today, of course, and we might tap that all-time high. That's fantastic. If you want to play that on the lower time frames, this is how you do it, okay? You look for these moving averages, okay? When we hit a moving average like so, and we break the high, then you could potentially ride that up using the moving average, 
as your trailing stop loss or using the moving average below as your trailing stop loss, right? So for example, if we break this high here, a good entry here, just riding the momentum, no patterns involved, right? It's just getting in along here, doesn't have to be high leverage or anything, okay? And then using a 21 EMA for your trailing stop loss. If we start banging it up like this, okay, then this trailing stop loss will eventually get above your entry point in which you created a no loss scenario, right? If we do lose that, then you could potentially sell if you want, uh, or you could just um, have your stop loss at your entry anyway, okay? But this is how you're gonna manage your risk uh, pretty clearly, okay? Um, besides that, <coughs> that's a bit more of a risky scenario. I would still wait for a pullback here, okay? Um, a pullback does make a lot more sense here if you are a bit more of a cautious trader, but overall, yes, uh, we have been highlighting these trades on Bitcoin specifically for the past, I would say, six months <laughs> right once we do break the the all-time high we were saying hey easy easy 20 percent trade up to this level we're already nearly there i did say it'll probably be quite aggressive uh, and yes this has played out fantastically so if you did find this if you did get involved then good stuff congratulations you're making money out here okay um if you didn't you probably want to subscribe for next time because uh, I, I do this a lot okay i do this a lot right <laughs> uh, I, i'm a long-term guy but i will keep reiterating these points and these trades when they do come into fruition then it's always fantastic for everyone involved if you want to get involved then feel free to do that and you can always follow my patreon as well where you do get altcoin trades on the daily as well okay so that is pretty much it the last thing i want to talk about here uh, for bitcoin we will summarize everything in a minute but for, for bitcoin here we can see we are miles above that daily volume weighted atr band but i do just want to highlight that typically when we do get overextended away from the volume weighted atr band uh, we do like to pull back to it okay so this is the volume weighted ATR band here. Okay, this daily one, let's get rid of the moving averages actually first, there we go. We can see when we do pull away from it quite significantly, that's when we get the pullbacks back towards that zone. Okay, so uh, moving it to present day here, let's just take a look. We're very far away from it. We are very far away from it. So uh, after hitting this potentially today, I think it could be a very aggressive dump coming down. Uh, if not, just sideways volatility in a massive range around the 100K to about uh, 85K potentially while we wait for this thing to catch up. And then uh, we take that next leg up. Uh, another thing I want to talk about here before we do go, a little bit political, but I do think that... Um that yes, they're not gonna try and kill Trump. This is not something I see happening, okay? But uh, what they will do is actually try and tank the economy while he's in office, right? This is the most obvious move and it's the easiest move they have to play, okay? They have all the money, they've lost some of the power, but the next move to make Trump look as bad as possible, okay, it is. It is to tank the economy, okay? And they have the power to do that. So what I'm saying is when those indexes tank, we're gonna see Bitcoin, we're gonna see Ethereum, we're gonna see Solana do the exact same thing. And this could be really a, a bit of a turnaround from what we were expecting for next year, okay? So next year, uh, people are expecting it to be super bullish. Uh, this is still the case. We are in a massive supply shock. On-chain looks good. ETFs are thriving, but, uh, at the end of the day, crypto is coupled to traditional markets, and if traditional markets are dumping, then that uh, that belief and that enthusiasm for Bitcoin will go down as well. People will pull out of investments, they'll put their money in the dollar, and then we will see absolute catastrophic dumperinos next year, okay? Um, but until that time, I do think we just go up, uh, and this is still a month and a half away, okay? So we could get super high here we could get up to 200k potentially uh very very easily all right so just be aware of that okay just keep keep your eye on that next year isn't necessarily a massive massive bull run but it is something that uh yes at any time it could dump right so let's just be aware of that that could be why we're being so aggressive here uh, in terms of this pump but in summary for this video okay if we are looking for a pullback entry a buy the dip kind of narrative we're looking around 80k uh, all the way down to uh, 78k that kind of area for bitcoin okay if we're looking for ethereum pullbacks to buy the dip uh, this could be anywhere between uh, 3080 all the way down to about 2800 okay so this kind of zone here uh, and then if we are looking at solana i'll just type this in again here we go beautiful stuff we're just going to add that 
as well. Beautiful stuff, right? Uh, we can see here that, uh, yes, it is looking super bullish, but the areas in which we'd be looking to buy is basically retesting between about 185 to $200, okay? Retesting that area uh, for a pullback and then potentially an entry if you are looking for that entry, okay? If you got value from this video, then be sure to drop a like on it. I've been doing this for many, 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 many years, okay? So, um, yes, feel free to show your support, drop a little sub, Drop a little like, leave me a comment, let me know how you're doing, and let's just enjoy this girthy dildo ride. I will see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Cheers.